when they're actually playing a game. So about that, guys. So today we are exploring Amotsky, a smaller Croatian town in Inner Dalmatia, Zagora. There's the three lakes, which are like these three lakes over ravines, the small fortress overlooking those lakes, and also there's some abandoned villages near the lakes. So we're going to go check those out, see what we can find here. Now right away, I've got a cool World War II fact for you. Always got to have those. During the Second World War, when Imoski was being bombed, the Germans that were occupying the area were able to shoot down three American B-24 bombers. One of the air crew was able to bail out well, along with others, but when he was captured by the Italians, it just so happened that his direct family ancestry was actually from Imoski. I believe his name was Marian Dojovic. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but kind of a cool fact there. This is a cool football field. I got to talk here, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted by the music, but there's a really cool, I don't know, some kind of villa. Maybe Austro-Hungarian era. It actually has a sign here. You said it was from a TV series? Yes, it's uh, from some TV show based on a famous uh, book. Poyachi Simon. Which means beggars and sons. It was probably, well, two stories. You can see where the support beams used to be. Yeah. So if anybody's a fan of the show, <laughs> we made it to the spot. Yeah, you can still see the door hinges. This thing called wallet. Don't get copyrighted, but there's the famous football pitch. So the moment of truth to see if the lake has water in it. It's like a super unique geological phenomenon. Let's go see. Oh, there is some water down there. And it is blue. That's typical Croatian watercolor. But yeah, that's the lake, Blue Lake, and there is Red Lake and Green Lake. Green Lake is the one with the abandoned villages around it, and we'll head to in a little bit. Now guys, stick with me here. We're gonna go check out the fortress. I know you guys don't usually like fortresses, but stick with me on this one. We're gonna head to the abandoned village after this. Now there's a cool legend surrounding this fortress. When the Venetians retook it from the Ottomans in the early 18th century, they fired a cannon, and where the cannonball landed was where they established the border of Bosnia. Uh, in reality, the Ottomans probably just bribed the Venetian land surveyors, but either way, it's a cool legend. Uh, they're actually playing a game. <laughs> that scoreboard is cool too, down there. Yay, Aimo! My bad if that was the away team. I don't, I don't know what, if that, which color is the Aimo skit team. Hey, Brate, which team is Aimo ski? Red one. Red one. Oh, okay. So I was rooting for the wrong team.
Really quick stop here at the Red Lake. I think we missed a time window, but I guess it's red because the light probably reflects this red stone. That's pretty cool though. Want to go cliff dive from up there? Yeah. I might get like three views. <laughs> Extra two views. Looks like there's a cave down there. So, interesting fun fact here is we actually just drove into Bosnia. Which is actually, this is not, Bosnia is not EU, so there's actually a, a border, but technically we just entered the country. This village is Bosnia. But yeah, cool fun fact. Anyways, we're heading to the abandoned village by the lake. So we found the abandoned village. Now, finding a history on these places is like next to impossible online. You gotta ask somebody like firsthand. Maybe we can ask that. I did see a lady over there. Maybe we can ask her about it. Let's check this out. This is really cool. You get a good view of the, uh, the place here. You can see these old footpaths. You know, at least several hundred years old. Yeah, but it's uh, not completely abandoned. It's like partly abandoned. Yeah. So. There's like a lady living over there. A really cool looking footpath though. Check this out. Magical fairy tale village. So I'll ask her. Hvala. I kad malo jezero, ono, jedne godine je presušilo. I onda se moglo preko jezera, rečemo, ono, preko toga mosta s autom, doći, otići i šetati, jer je bilo, ono, baš skroz su ispustili vodu. I dolje je bilo polje, vinograd i tako. I onda su ljudi masovno iseljavali. Rečemo, neki su i prije oselili, a neki su ostali i onda sad prave gori kuće, gdje je glavna cesta. Možda mi se prolazi. Došli smo iz gornje strane, došli smo u stvari iz smjera Crvenog jezera. A to ste od Imotskog došli? Da, da, da. A mi se gori prema crkvi. Aha, ima neka crkva. Može gdje se parkiralo ovdje. Dobar dan. I onda ovo... Dobar dan. Ne stanuje tu. Ne napostilo. I koliko godine? Ima dosta. Četrsto... Četrsto godina, koliko je staro selo, jel znate? O, to ne bi stvarno znala reći koliko je staro. Ne bi znala. Ne zna. To stvarno ne bi znala. Ne, još je učeno, još je učeno. Imali smo ono i prijatelj Švaboj dolazi učer. I ovaj... I onda bi on jedan ti mater, onako te učinu. Važno, je. Ovo je prvi, ja prvi učinu. Ja bi ti mater. Dobar dan, ili jedan ti mater. Tako je. Kuća od mate parlova onog boksa. Famous boxer live there. Koja matka je? Kako izoveš? Mate Parlov. Mate Parlov, so famous. 
I actually lived in this village. Oh, interesting. She gonna show us his cow, her, his house. This is a cool place, guys. I'm really glad we found this place. And obviously, you'll read the translations of whatever that lady was telling of the history. I'll ask here as well. Yeah, so this is his house. I did see like a billboard on the way in of him. So this village is claim to fame. We'll find a way inside some of these places to see what's in there. So stick with us. I had a vala lipa. Yeah, drugi pota možda je jo jesti. Vala lipa. Oh, I mean, the 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 is 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 the the famous boxer that used to live here, Parlovi. Mate Parlov? And Parlov is the name of this village, so... That's more than what Google will tell you, that's for sure. But she's a really nice lady, she actually invited us to go eat. And drink. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Okay, we can go check on it. But now we get into the, the fun parts. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, a bunch of old barrels and stuff back here. I mean, these barrels alone, and they sell them in Hobby Lobby for like a grand, so. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. There is stuff here. So, she was not sure of the exact age. What was, what was she, she saying about the place? Kuche, she this is she. What was she saying? Like, I will translate it to you. These floors aren't too trustworthy, but you know it's good to test it out by always tapping your foot on them. Oh, nice. I found the chest. All clothes and stuff. What did you find? There is 25 people living in this old house. 
Well, even back then they had apartments. <laughs> and I'm sure even back then you had shitty roommates. Oh, back then you lived with your family. What's that? What's that saying? How's it go? No matter how sad somebody's story is, don't let them stay on your couch. <laughs> oh, you can see some really old. This is actually uh, like a dresser turned over. Oh, you think it's yeah, I found a chest in the other room. This is something upside down. But I mean, yeah, that's just weather damage. Well, we'll check what's in this other one, and let's head back up those stairs. This is probably what most of you guys are watching for, and I hope it's worth it, because this is not much in there. My forte. So far, so cool. Farlovi's house is over there, she said. Yeah. That doesn't look like it'll hold. Yeah, that one's <laughs> that one's too flimsy. It gave me some views though, and I appreciate you guys watching, as always. These are some pretty big houses. This is probably a storage room. Yeah, these types of places are always super interesting to me. I mean, look at this place. It's, it's like, you know, it's beautiful. And you can see, like, I mean, there's so much history in these, these places. But, like, on the map, it doesn't even tell you what the name of the village is. We had to ask that lady for anything, you know, to know anything about it. Hey, hey, hey! So actually, yeah, that was Parlovi's house. Still stuff up there. This house looks like it has stuff in it. This one's pretty intact. Oh yeah, still beds and things. Oh nice, there's stuff in here. Huh? There's stuff in this house. Yeah, what is this? Check out these old wine barrels. I do collect these old beer bottles, but this one's pretty rough. 
Deutsche beer. That might be like handmade. Yeah, it's an old brush for a horse. Let's go head over over here and see what we can find over there. And the remains of some really old stuff right there. Right, what do you guys think? Well, nothing over there. I would have done it for you guys. Like I said, I definitely always appreciate you guys watching. We've got this big house here. Another one of those like old timey communal houses. Look at this old jacket, and this old bag, that's pretty cool, it's booby trapped, well obviously not because you're still watching, <laughs> this basket. Wow! Some bird hops out. This is... I wonder if that's a military jacket or just a old leather coat. I mean, obviously this thing is old. I wonder. Let me do some Googling. Now look at this super old. Oh, there's like a note on the bed. prayer book oh newspaper here's where we get an idea Nineteen ninety five. Towards the end of the creation of Homeland War, the last year. That's a cool looking thing. Yeah, and a hell of a view too. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it to the end, you know. And if you enjoyed it, you know, feel free to subscribe because I really appreciate that. That village ended up being pretty cool. And thanks to that nice lady, she Told us the name of the place, Farlovi. Beautiful lake in the background. And until the next one. Fidimose.
Bye.